the adventure of Swaki the robot a tale of friendship and bravery introducing our characters hi i'm swaki hi i'm max and hi i'm swigus let's go to the first chapter max is a young inventor who has just finished building swaki and activating him for the first time max is still to have created a robot that can move talk and interact with the world around him max and swaki quickly form a bond and max shows swaki around the workshop explaining how all the machines and tools works swaki is curious about everything and asks max many questions about the world he has been created in max teaches swaki how to move his arms and legs and how to use his sensor to detect objects the chapter ends with the max telling swaki that he has big plan for two of them and they are going to have many adventures together the stage is set for the swaki and max exciting journey to come and readers are left eagerly anticipated the next chapter now we are moving to the second chapter of the story now spark is exploring max workshop while he's away from the shop as spark is exploring he meets a little mouse named sweekers at first spark is threatened or sweeker but sweeker assures that he is friendly and means no harm Sparky and Sweekers quick become friends and start to explore the workshop together. Sparky is fascinated by the Sweekers' small size and his ability to fit in tiny spaces. Sweekers teaches Sparky how to sneak around quietly and they have fun playing hide and seek together. Now, towards the end of this chapter, Max returns to the workshop and he surprises his surprise to see Sparky playing with the mouse. Max is worried that Sparky might harm Swigger, but Sparky assures Max that Swigger is his friend and they that that they will always look out for each other. Max is pleased to see that Sparky has made a new friend and promises to take Sparky and Swigger on an adventure outside the workshop. Now we we'll look forward to the chapter number three to see what happened to their first adventure. Chapter number three. Now Max taking Sparky and Squares outside for the first time. Sparky is amazed by all the sights and sound of the outside world, and he loves the feeling on his metallic body by the sun. Max takes Sparky and Squares to the nearby park, where they have fun playing on the swings and the slide. Sparky is fascinated by the other children at the park and how they move around. He tries to imitate their movements. and even tries to climb a tree like a human squares cheers sparky on and encourages him to keep trying now towards the end of the chapter sparky and squares spot a group of birds in a nearby tree sparky is curious about the birds and tries to communicate with them using sensor but they fly away before he can say hello max explains to sparky that the birds are afraid of him because he is different from them but sparky decides that he will try to make friends with the birds someday the chapter ends with the max promising to that to take sparky and squares on more adventures in the future and sparky excitedly look forward to their next adventure together now we will move to chapter number 4 now max taking sparky and squares on a camping site in the forest sparky is excited to explore the great outdoors and squares be to be along for the ride as they set up their campsite max shows sparky how to start a fire and set up a tent sparky is a quick learner and it's fascinated by all the new things he's learning especially amazed by the stars in the night sky and sounds of the forest at night the next day while they hiking through the forest Sparky and Squares come across a small stream. Sparky is curious about the forest and decided to jump into explore. However, Sparky quickly discovered that he is not built for the swimming and started to sink to the bottom. Squares quickly comes to the Sparky rescue and pulls him to safety. As the chapter ends, Max tells Sparky that bravery comes in many forms and that even robots can be brave. Sparky realizes that he has not been brave in his own way by exploring new places and making new friends 
the campsite and food makes promising to take sparking and speakers on even more adventures in the future. Now we will move to chapter number 5. Now Max decking Sparky and Swickers to a sign fair. Sparky is fascinated by all the new inventions and gadgets on display and he is excited to learn more about them. As you wander around the fair, they come across a boat showing kissing a new robot named Robby. Robby is sleek and skinny and he boasts about all of his advanced features and abilities. Sparky is initially intimidated by Robbie, but he quickly realizes that Robbie is not as friendly as he seems. Robbie starts to make fun of Sparky, battle it his ability, and making Sparky feel insecure in the science sphere. However, Sparky's confidence is restored when Max tells him that he is special, unique, just the way he is. Max reminds Sparky that being brave means being confident in yourself, even when others try to bring you down. At the end of this chapter, Sparky decides to prove his bravery by participating in the science fair himself with the squares by his side. Sparky presents his own creations, a small device that can help words to communicate with robots. The device impresses the judges and the other attendees at the fair. And Spark is proud of himself for being brave and sharing his creation with the world. Now we will move to chapter number 6. Now Max taking Sparky and Swickers on a trip to a big city. Sparky is excited to see all the tall buildings and bustling streets and is eager to explore. As they wander around the city, Sparky noticed that many people seem to be in a hurry, rushing from one place to another without stopping to enjoy the scenery. Sparky and Swickers decide to take a break from the crowd and to explore a quiet park. While in the park, Sparky noticed a group of children playing soccer. He is fascinated by the game and decided to join in. At first, the other children are hesitating to let Sparky play, but he proves to be a quick learner and a great team player. The children soon accept him as one of their own and they have a great time playing together. However, the game is interrupted by a group of bullies who tries to take the soccer ball away from the children. Sparky realizes that he needs to be brave and stand up for their new friends. He uses his advanced senses and ability to distract the bullies and protect the ball from them. The bullies eventually give up and leave, and Sparky and his new friends thanks him for being brave. As the chapter ends, Max tells Sparky that bravery is not just about the physical strength, but also about standing up for what's right and protecting those who need help. Sparky realizes that he learns a lot about bravery on their adventure together and he is excited to continue the learning and going with the Max and his friend Sparky. Now we will move to chapter number 7. Now Max taking Sparky and Swickers on a camping trip. Sparky is excited to experience the outdoor and learn a a more about nature. As they set up campsite, Sparky noticed a group of animals nearby. He is curious and decides to investigate. But he realizes that animals are frightened and hiding from something. Max tells Sparky that there have been reports of dangerous predators in that area and they need to be careful from them. Now, later that night, Sparky and Squares hear strange noises outside their tent. Sparky uses his sensor to investigate and discover that predicators have found their campus site. Sparky knows that he needs to be brave and protect Max and Squares from harm. He uses advanced abilities to scare off the predicators and keep everyone safe by his advanced technology movements. Max is impressed by Swark's behaviors and tells him that he become a true hero. As the chapter ends, 
Spock reflects on what he learned about bravery on their adventures. He realizes that bravery is not just about being strong and fearless, but also about being smart, resourceful, and always looking out for those you care about. Now we will move to the last chapter of this story. Max receiving a distressful call from the nearby town. There has been a big storm and the town's power has gone out. Max now sparky at one senses and abilities can help them to navigate to the storm and fix the power. As she approached the town, Sparky noticed that many of the buildings have been damaged by the storm. He sees the people that are struggling to clean up their debris and restore their homes that are damaged from the storm. Sparky realized that he can use his advanced technology to help. He uses his sensor to identify the areas that needed the most help and he uses his powerful robotic arms to move debris and clear parts. He even uses his built-in power source to help resource the electricity to the town. The town people are grateful for the sparky help and they thank him for being brave and resourceful. At last, Sparky feels proud to have been able to help those in need and to have put its advanced abilities to good use. As the chapter ends, Max tells Sparky that being brave isn't just about protecting yourself and your friends, it is also about helping others and making the world a better place to live. Sparky realized that he has learned a lot about bravery and compassion on their adventures and he excited to continue learning and growing. This is all from the story The Adventures of Sparky the Bravery. If you like the story concept and you want to be read it on digital platform then you can also download this book from my Amazon Kindle book. It will help your children's to maintain their bravery and to think about what actual bravery is called. Copyright disclaimer. This story book contains images that were sourced from Google Images while every effort has been made to ensure that images are either royalty free or fall under use fair use guidelines. We do not claim ownership of these images and acknowledge that they are belong to their respective owners. Thank you. This is sent from us. We meet in the next story, inshallah.